And at six, we continue to follow breaking news from Hampton. An hours long standoff is over. Thanks for watching. I'm Tom Shad. It all began this morning at a gun store on West Mercury Boulevard after police got a call for a burglary. The whole ordeal lasted into the late afternoon with a suspect in custody. Andy Fox has been there all day and Andy, the good news, nobody hurt in any of this. Yeah, that's what we were told that uh, the suspect was taken into custody. Don't know any more details about that, but this is the backside of what is superior guns right here. And what we know is, is that the door is down. You can see the door, it's down. We don't know what led to all of that happening. We've not been given any of those details. It's been a long day, thousands of people affected by these businesses, schools, people just trying to get around. This day wrapped up in four images. No traffic on Mercury Boulevard, SWAT on the roof of Superior Guns, truck drivers and so many others. Inconvenience, not able to get where they need to go. And the last, a big hole, doors ripped off Superior Guns. Terry Riddick couldn't even get the money for the rent check. They won't even let us walk up and down this street right here because I was supposed to meet my wife at the soap and suds over here. They give her the cashier's check so she can go pay the rent. So now I can't even do that. So now I gotta wait. Businesses in the lockdown area had little or no business, like O'Reilly's Auto Parts. The local KFC shut down. Schools went on modified lockdown where students weren't allowed outside. You couldn't even get back there to the school. They dropped the kids off because they had everything blocked off. And now I'm trying to get back home. I can't even get home because I got to go through this way and they got the whole Mercury shut down. This section of West Mercury Boulevard looked like a military zone. Everything on lockdown. Well, I've seen some bad situations, but actually... But on Mercury Boulevard, closed down, no cars? I... no, I haven't. You're right on that. <laughs> yeah, we, I got him on that. Uh, traffic is now, of course, flowing on Mercury. This is the... the hole inside superior guns. We don't know what it looked like before, so we don't know exactly what happened, but you can see it is a big entrance there. And uh, police were SWAT around here all day. You can, they're still here. Uh, they were up here uh, on a balcony up there. They were looking, they had uh, guns drawn, and all of this came about because of what happened right over here. And what we know is that in the morning, someone went in there, okay, and an alarm went off, and police were drawn here for that. That's what police told me. And then he came out, saw the police, went back in, and that's how this whole thing started around 6.30 this morning. But we have not been told anything more about what happened when the suspect was taken into custody. We are still trying to get those answers, and when we get those answers, we will pass them along to you. That is the latest from Hampton. Andy Fox, 10 on your side.